Hi, welcome. Today I would like to talk about strong name assemblies and why you would want to use them. So to demonstrate what I've done is I created a small WPF app. Basically, when I uh, click on this button called Smart, uh, it calls an assembly. And you can see what it does. It just uh, calls a constructor function for a class. And in the constructor function for the class, I'm just saying uh, console right line gore strong name assembly. And since I ran this test one time, you can see it is doing this. So let me just run this again for you and you can see it for yourself. See, it prints this message. So the difference here uh, right now is that uh, this is my uh, WPF app, strong assembly. And this demo SN was the class uh, that you are seeing here right now. And uh, that's the library that I'm referring to. So we are basically two projects. So you can see I have a link to demo SN from here and if I go and click on its properties uh, you can see it says copy local is true and the strong name is false and that's typically how you would if you would just link to a library that's what it is. So one of the first things you can do is uh, for strong name assemblies uh, they are just basically normally use system wide and we put it them in a cache called uh, GAC. So you don't want to copy this uh, and I can just change it to copy to be false so that uh, when I come back into my program, I can show you how this works now. So if I do rebuild all and if I just try to run this and say call smart uh, SN assembly, you can say it does not find the assembly. And the reason it doesn't find the assembly is because if uh, we had uh, here uh, showing that it's not being copied see here it says copy local is false and uh, you can easily see this if you go into your debug directory here uh, you will see that it's not really being copied so I'm going to just copy the full path in Explorer and uh, just kind of show you where this is Yeah, so you can see here that the strong assembly is here, but uh, the application, but uh, the class it refers to is not over here. Okay, so to make uh, a strong name assembly, you need to use a call tool called SN and uh, it creates uh, a strong name assembly uh, SNK file, which basically has a public and a private key and I can demonstrate how it could be done. So if I look at my directory here, I don't have any SNK files, so I'm going to run this tool. Uh, basically, you have to be in the Visual Studio command prompt tool, so you can find all those. So I'm just going to say SN demo dot SNK, and it should uh, have generated the tool. Okay, so you can see that it generates a file called demo with a key pair, and the command to do those was SN minus K, so it does need a switch. So it generates a file and you can see where the file is located. It's, it's in here, uh, for example. And if you look at the contents, it's just going to be byte. So we are not terribly interested in it. So to add that, what you can do is uh, go into your class library, go into signing, and here you will see sign the assembly. So what you want to do is uh, get it, uh, browse to your uh, location and find that file demo.snk and uh, set it up. And if you do the build, hopefully it should be all working. And if you look in the assembly info, uh, you should be able to find uh, the version of where this assembly is being uh, linked to. So let me just go into this demo.sn to kind of check if it finds it. See here it says strong name is true. So we have a strongly named uh, assembly that we are linking to. So once you are linking to a strong name assembly, the next step to do is to basically uh, go and put this assembly in the GAC. And for that, you can use a command called get util. And I'm going to show you how to use this. Uh, so first, let me go into my uh, directory where I can find uh, binaries. So if I have my uh, uh, demo binaries here, but I need to go into the class library. Uh, so, 
okay so i am in the area where my dll is so to add that to the gag what you can do is say gag util slash i and then you just give it the name of the dll so it says assembly successfully added to the cache and the cache of the gag could depend on where uh, you are uh, so for microsoft.net uh, 4.0 is basically going to be under a gag msil and if you click you will see a folder called demo sn and uh, so this is from an earlier run so in the new run i can see it did create a file here which is the dll so now if i uh, try to run my uh, project here uh, this one the wpf it should be able to find it so if i say uh, clear it so you can see the output here call the strong name assembly see here you found the strong name assembly so it's very easy to uh, put your uh, common uh, dlls in the uh, gag and you can have the various versions as well and so this should be an easy way to uh, use strong name assemblies if you want to know more you can go to my basically my website and search for many different things for example including programming but if you want to search for uh, some kind of an explore into angular you can go there as well and thank you for watching this short screencast and you have a great day